Hey Sagittarius, I hope everyone has been well. Y'all, peace and blessings. <laughs> long, long, long time no speak. Okay, so, ooh, y'all as well. Look at how she has her hand up to her ear as soon as I said no speak. So Sagittarius, I'm telling y'all, some of y'all, li look, listening to wisdom, have been in this energy of doing the work. Listening to your, I heard your higher self and your inner child, okay? And the and then the wisdom that comes from your ancestors as well. So a lot of messages I, I was picking up on right before this reading. And then this card, honey, this is beautiful. This is my first time seeing this come out of this deck, okay? And this was gifted to me by a colleague. So Sagittarius, I'm excited because I can feel the shift that's happening with the collective, but especially y'all, it's something going on with the fixed signs and the fire signs. So Leo, if you watching this or you got Leo in your chart, look, prayers with y'all, okay? But you may have, you may resonate with crows. I know I do. Um, or there's something going on with Scorpio energy and messages as it relates to your transformation or a transition that's about to happen, okay? I did recently get that y'all have a lot of toxic secret competitions. Like you're not competing, but and you probably don't even well, eight of, eight of swords did come out, and I'm getting y'all haven't seen the signs when it comes to y'all workplace, other people trying to compete with you or trying to pick with you or something. So there's about to be a shift. People are watching you, people who you don't even realize are watching you really see your skill they really see your maturity the fact that you're not like you're not in the midst of the five of wands type energy so you could be taking note and listening to the wisdom of you know other people who are in leadership or you know whatever this is to you y'all prepare I feel like this is preparing you, but if only you knew <laughs> the energy that is like there's abundance, there's prosperity, there's ten of pentacles. I feel it and I see it for y'all. Okay, I see it for us. Claim it, honey. All right, one more Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Let me get into this reading. March energy, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels for my Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Arising, or whoever resonates with this. Mm. I love this. And it looks like the same person in this in these cards, which is even better because it says meditation for clarity, right? And part of meditating is listening, right? Listening to that wisdom. What is it that you're listening to? What is it that's being said, right? There's a new level of presence that's happening with you, Sagittarius, and I'm getting strongly, it's a woman here, okay? Yeah, give love. Some of y'all may be realizing that in order for you to give love, all you have to do is listen. Sometimes it's just listening or, mm, yeah, I, I get a lot of people see you as someone who can offer a listening ear and they can talk to you about anything, but it's, it's this level of you, I don't see y'all having a problem with not having that for yourself but it's just like mm, i can't even explain it i'm i can see it so clearly i see you all listening to the wisdom of the holy spirit and your ancestors as others are seeking you for wisdom I'm seeing multiple people, like groups of people looking at you. It's like almost an audience, but it's something outside, okay? This act of you giving love, I get you're igniting someone's flame, okay? You're igniting someone else's passion. Y'all are being called here. Someone's a shaman. Someone, I definitely have been picking up on high priestess energy. 
okay? But this meditation and this work that you've been doing, it has a greater purpose. It's bigger than you. And you realize that. Many of you realize that, okay? And I can, I can see exactly how some of y'all are feeling, where y'all coming from, okay? Especially if you have Scorpio in your, in your chart. Some of y'all, when you may not know what to say, you're still in this energy. This is very therapeutic and comforting. Like this card is giving out very comforting energy. So whatever is being told to you, I don't see any fear. Okay, she don't have no fear. She's like, hold up, bird coming to me with some urgency. Like you got a message to tell me. What is it? Tell me the tea. Okay. But God shares his wisdom with those closest, right? As soon as I said that, you got the... Mm. And then there's others who may not see. I'm getting multiple energies when it comes to this. There's people who simply don't know any better. There's people who are attracted to your light, to your wisdom. Like, you may not say much. You don't... You're not around many people at all, okay? Mm. <laughs> you don't talk to many people, right? And it's not that you don't want to. I get like you. This speaks for itself. All of this speaks for itself. Why? Because wow. Let's break this down, y'all. Because I get as soon as you start to protect your energy. And really, some of y'all have sat in it. You sat in this Five of Cups energy. It keeps coming out for a reason. But the Queen of Pentacles keeps coming out for a reason. Of course, you had to go through something like this to get to somewhere like the Queen of Pentacles, right? There's judgment that's being called here when it comes to someone's thoughts, their guilt, their grief, their emotions, their self-esteem how do you feel about what you do have right because i heard four is enough it's more than enough every time we see the ace of pentacles it's like oh the ace of pentacles the ace of pentacles but then we see the four then we see the five like oh shit then we see the six and the seven like oh i gotta you know take another look i'm not sure we start getting you know, and then we get eight and nine and then you get tested. Like all, I'm also hearing all money ain't good money. And then all along, God is laughing at our plans. So you might as well take heed now, right? Because the Queen of Pentacles is already out here. The Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, right? She look like the Empress. You have this ancestral wisdom. Your light ignites other people's light. And I also heard God is laughing at whatever was said. Because if you go back and look, here you are minding your own. Here you are meditating for clarity. You don't talk to nobody. I keep getting that. So there may be some talk. But it's not adding up because here you are, just, mm -mm. It, it don't add up. They looking at you and whatever they're comparing to what it says, it's like, nah. Okay. Oh, this energy. Yeah. This energy is coming from someone who feels left out. For someone who probably breadcrumbed you had you feeling left out or left you out whether you felt like it or not right because i do get 
this secure level of self-esteem. That seems to be the theme with the collective right now is really being able to take a look at our self-esteem because it's about to be the the deciding factor when it comes to this karma, this justice, everything that is shifting right now. A lot of us can feel it, okay? Didn't I say we start to feel some type of way when we get to the four and the five? It's four times more than one. We get so excited about the Ace of Pentacles. Right? And then I heard God say, oh, how often do they forget? Right? We we go through this cycle of being grateful and, you know, but then we like, ah, something happened. When you get tested, no. Instead of looking at it like it's part of the journey. Instead of looking at this rejection as protection. Being like, to, instead of me feeling like I'm the five of pentacles, I will take an L and go back to my four, right? Because you look real comfortable and secure here with this four of pentacles. But something about somebody going out of their way. No, I heard you have just enough for you. But you're going to be in this energy if you step outside of what it is that you're supposed to be holding on to right now. Right? I heard of yourself. Mm. Somebody, hold on to you. Hold on to you. Because you have nothing more to give. Yes, you're still very abundant. Okay? But that's the test right now is what I'm hearing. To somebody, listen to your wisdom. Is it telling you that? Okay? For somebody, this reading is just confirmation. But I'm definitely talking to Sagittarius energy here. And fire, divine feminine, honey. This is y'all. Look at this. Come on now. I'm loving this higher prime. I, it's the laugh for me, right? One more. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Ooh, okay. I'll take it. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'll take it. Y'all are in the energy where the enemy won't have a choice but to walk away and go into hiding. Like, <laughs> you like, um, okay, if this is not physical protection and surveillance, honey, it's spiritual. Y'all are armed, guarded, protected. Something, yeah, something's being enforced here and, oh, okay, I'm getting a message around, y'all got this, it's this contract, it's, there's a contract in the spiritual realm when it comes to your protection, you being protected, okay, and there's a masculine energy here, it could be an Aries, I'm just getting someone of great authority, but uh, it's an honorable one. Okay, especially with this two of cups here. And that's why whoever this is, whatever this energy is, it's going to have to go ahead and move on and take a look at themselves. Okay, this is straight I rebuke. Now you want to go hide. Okay, there could be somebody with Capricorn and Cancer in their chart. Mm -mm. But it's not a coincidence that, didn't I say, it's the laughing for me. God is laughing at the enemy's plans. Like, do you not realize what type of protection my child has? What the people before her have sacrificed, have prayed for? You gonna move on. I am in control, right? God is the one in control of all of this. So <laughs> that's the one that's gonna laugh. Okay, that's the reading. <laughs> That's the reading, y'all. Wow. Last laugh. God gets the last laugh. Ooh, thank you, Jesus. Let's, yeah. Moonology. Holy Spirit. Holy Angels. Thank you. Mm. 
I'm, I, I mean, I am yeah, getting emotional. A time to give rather than take. What does it say? Give love. You may not have much to say. You may not be in a lower vibrational energy of trying to compete. And, you know, you may not even be aware of what's going on. It's all happening for a reason, right? You in this five of pentacles energy, right? May not be, it may not be financially. It may just be something within the workplace. Somebody wanting you to feel outcasted or whatever. But I'm, I'm getting for you to continue being in your higher vibrational energy. Listening to the wisdom within and around you okay because y'all could also be taking note from this very people who are trying to sabotage you look at the bigger picture if this is in career as well y'all because that keeps coming out someone may be trying to make you feel stuck and bound and restricted because they're in this authoritative position but you know who has the ultimate authority right when you take the time to meditate on whatever this is that has you contemplating, should I give to this? Can I give to this? Right? Okay. So that's why I kept getting that message earlier when I kept saying, y'all don't really talk to nobody or y'all don't deal with nobody because now you're being presented with this transition where you probably will have to deal with people. Okay. You're going to be in this queen of wands energy, very attractive and it's not that you're not used to it and you don't have any experience when it comes to communication. You actually do. You're just like, I'm, ugh. you know, it comes with it. Okay. But y'all are also being guided and called for a reason. So, yes, make sure you tap into this energy of listening to your wisdom and meditating for clarity because that's going to be the key, honey. This keep coming out in every deck for a reason. Oh, I'm so excited for y'all. A time to give rather than take. Look at the bigger picture. So something around between now, I'm hearing in, so you, I'm getting June. And so each season, when the seasons change, maybe that may be, you know, how you, um, how you plan out your goals or your timelines and deadlines. But Gemini season and Virgo season, mutable signs, hey, and I'm doing Pisces next, so that's not a coincidence. All right, y'all, this season is time to sow your seeds. I'm hearing because by harvest, mm. all right, I love y'all. Take care. Bye.